Greetings and welcome back everyone to Backpack Hero, where today we're taking out Eldritch Purse with a barrel full of drinks, which we have to pay. It's some sort of like, you know, a little slot machine barrel, which dispenses drinks. A bomb stone, a buckler, and a piggy bank. So we will get gold from the piggy bank. The barrel costs two gold to use, so if we need two items out of this, then we are losing money in that battle. The bomb stone, which will massively upgrade the damage on a weapon and then use it and then destroy it. And also, a little buckler. A little shield with sass and pep. I approve. Uh, this one is actually needed for two types of research. We can either get the amethyst buckler, that actually looks quite cool, or the swamp buckler. Hmm, adds block equal to 100% of your current poison. On use, adds a zero block and then removes 100% poison. So you can basically use this to poison power your defenses, which I quite like the look of. Uh, we're gonna go to the crypt because <laughs> Cthulhu purse kind of feels like the crypt is the place to go. Now then, we've got a... Uh, shall we open that later? I don't actually have enough room right now. I want to get a level up so that I can expand my room a little bit. I want to get rid of the bee quite quickly. Uh, right now, we can't do anything but make a drink. Ah, frothy drink. Now, the beauty of this is as long as I remember, I should be able to create a frothy drink. Assuming it is always a frothy drink, it might not always be. Uh, but we will then be able to use that uh, to send back to Havasak Hill and unlock tea. Marvellous. Right, I'm going to promptly uh, finish reorganizing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use this again to see what else we get. We got some more to this time. All right. Uh, going to use this, give myself some energy. And now I'm going to use this. Kapow. That was pretty nice. All things said and done. I am going to need to defend a little bit. So let's get some block going. In fact, let's do that twice. We are then going to drink this. And uh, at this point, we will take you out, get some money back from you, which is going to be very important for us. And now, now I've got to remember that this bomb stone is going to end up over here whenever this happens. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to grab a little bit more of something, something. What have we got this time? A warm drink. Oh, this one's also needed for something. Let's have a look at the research. Uh, okay, well, that, that was used to make the tea, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's go ahead and use this item and then womp you with it. Okay, on the next turn, we're going to have to do damage the old-fashioned way, which is unfortunate. Right, this has been a very expensive battle already. I disapprove. Pop. Right, there we go. Actually, all that being said... Well, I mean, it was an expensive battle because all of the money we got from the battle, we still lost one point, which isn't great. It isn't great. Uh, let's make some room. Is this heavy? Hmm. I don't recall. Uh, given that, then, let's err on the side of caution and only unlock spaces that aren't... Yeah, it is heavy. It would have sunk down. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, get items. Let's see what we got. We got a mana stone, which may be useful. Uh, a ring, which will be useful. We have got a permanent, uh, sorry, an apprentice staff. Deal six down. I do need a weapon. I do need a weapon that isn't going to just be used up. Hmm. Uh, if there's an adjacent weapon, I mean, I could bring this along. Does this only have three? It does only have three. Hmm. Problem being, unless I do something uh, like this. If I place that up there, then yes, we can only draw out one uh, bit of gold, at, uh, sorry, one drink at a time, but that's all we really need. And then we, oh, but the first time that that happens, yeah, we're going to have to remove it like this. The reason why I needed to move this, I could foresee a problem. The first drink we would create, we'd move the bomb st stone up there, and then from that point on, I wouldn't be able to create any more drinks. So if we put this down there and have the bomb stone up there, then the bomb stone will just keep switching places, which will work for us. But we do still have a staff, which means that we have an option to do some additional damage, some basic damage, without having to use up all of our money. Actually, we did get a bit of cash from the uh, from the battle there. We didn't have the battle rewards yet, so we came out of that battle three gold on top. Not the worst thing in the universe. Certainly not. Uh, however, we are going to open this one up with a good solid wallop. Let's uh, go ahead and use that, and then take out the B, pop, there we are. 
Now, you're going to protect yourself in a moment. Uh, I could hit you a good couple of times. Um, it might be worth it, honestly. Sure. Let's bring you down to 12 health. Now, you're not going to do anything. As long as we end up with the same sort of health this turn, uh, then we will be able to take you down. Uh, sorry, same sort of energy this turn. We will be able to take you down fairly easy. There we go. Now, I could use this... I'm going to need to block, and then one, or two. Then I don't really need to use this. Actually, that was a that was a bit of a waste. My bad. Oh well. Now, I could use the bomb stone here, but next turn you're not going to have anything to protect yourself with, so that would be the better time for me to go for you. Womp. and there we are. Beautiful. And a level up. Now, this would cause the the keg to fall down, so we're not going to do that one. We're instead going to open up uh, spaces behind the keg for the time being uh, to give us some room in that direction. There we go. And items get. Right, we're going to move a couple of things around. These can all go... Uh, well, honestly, we can have those up top. We've got the feather cap for each row below, plus two block. Not a bad one. We've got the heart cleaver. On use, deals four damage. When a cleaver kills a non-summoned enemy, heals one HP. Hmm. That is remarkably tempting, I must confess. But first, we're going to need to figure out how we're, I'm going to be positioning all of these. Because clearly, I do want to keep these things around. Uh, there we are. That's going to give me eight block passively, which is beautiful. Sure, we'll pick up the cleaver. It's not going to be a cleaver run, but I'll happily take the cleaver with me. Does anything here need... do we need it for research? No, we do not. And I guess we'll just take that along with us as well. Alright, finished that. We're only ever going to need one space, ultimately, for the potions. Uh, there, is a, there is a use case where I might want to test my luck and try and get a specific potion. Oh, my lord. It's my gift and my obligation. Okay, this is very early. His hand glows with the power. Incredible and cursed. I can take your items to the next level, he says, but the price is great. Okay, add three damage to a heavy weapon. Add a piercing to a weapon for each item in this row. Minus one damage. Add ghostly and two burn to a weapon. Add three block to a shield. Uh, it cannot be touching the backpack's edge. Hmm. I mean, let's have a look. If I made this ghostly, then other items wouldn't detect its presence. Would... That would probably mean that conductive wouldn't work through it, but would it still be able to charge my mana stones? Of course, I could use that on the cleaver, but honestly, cleavers are built to interact with other things and so using that on a cleaver would be a bit of a rubbish move in my opinion i could upgrade the little buckler i guess and just always keep it from the edge of the backpack which right now this is the only space which allows for that but um it would give me a lot more block but ghostly and two burn to a weapon this makes more sense on the staff if i'm honest you know what i'm willing to science this one because i frankly want to find out if this will be able to charge his mana stone. Now, we're going to need something that uses the mana first, but we'll be able to get there, I'm sure. All right, I need to take you out as a matter of priority. Uh, we're not taking any damage this turn, so I can just focus my energy one, two. We're going to get a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a drinky drink. We'll go ahead and... You I always right-click for something. I don't know why. Uh, that gives me two energy. I can... You will die, simply because of the burn. And that is the beauty of that. Uh, I could follow this up. Does that need energy to move? It does need energy to move, but that's fine. I can use it on the next turn. While up there, you're going to die this turn. There we go. So no theft happening here. There we are. And all we need to do now is... Oh, actually, we didn't even need to block, frankly. We already had enough. But the beautiful thing about the Apprentice Staff having burn is it goes through block. So I can just use the uh, remaining turns to do this. I don't need to uh, spend on a drink. So this is definitely going to be a battle in which we uh, we end up earning money without even having to try particularly hard. Right, now then, we want to... No, it's, it's drinks in this row. So as long as the row is visible, then that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to reduce this. 
I'm going to do a thing that may not make sense initially, but I am going to allow this to sink. There we go. Alright, get items. Uh, I'm going to try and shimmy things around up top here. This can go over there. What? But... I... But... I am confused. I am deeply confused. I mean, I'm okay with it, but I am definitely confused. Right, we don't need the candle anymore, and I would like the pearl. Uh, weapons two spaces away, get full damage. There we are. Oh, of course. Can't see it. <laughs> of course. All right, well, fair enough. That, that doesn't work for us then, but that's fine. I mean, I... Is there a reason to bring... No, we've already done it, so I'm, I'm afraid... Do we want to take the head anyway? I, look, I know it's not going to do anything. Oh, no, it's really big. I, I, if it was a one-tile thing, I would have brought it along, and we, then Crate could have had a spare head, kind of like Crichton. Different heads, different moods. But sadly, Crate, it's just too burdensome for me, so uh, the answer is no today. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I would have liked to have given you a spare head too, but there we go. Right, let's have a gander at what we've got. We have got a block, a dice, not a bad one, a vacant mana stone, uh, the My First Wand. All right, this would allow us to start playing around and see if indeed this will charge the mana stone. That's actually a really important thing for us to find out. I do still have healing options available to me, but for now, I think this is this is worth it. The uh, the ring is nice, and it's always nice to have a ring because there's there's so many uh, forging opportunities that work on rings specifically. Uh, and my favorite one is to just get two regen either on two rings or uh, two on one ring, and then you don't need a healing option. You just just as long as the battle lasts long enough, you you're going to be healing stupid amounts every turn. All right, we got a battle over here, so let's get in there. I disapprove of you greatly, but uh, I'll have to wait for a moment. Right, let's open up strong with a nice blow there. Now, I would like to see, is this going to charge? It does. Okay, so Ghostly Staff can still charge the Mana Stone. Even though the Mana Stone can't see the Staff, the Staff can see the Mana Stone, and it's the Staff acting upon the Mana Stone. That's the way I'm going to interpret that one. Okay, duly noted. Duly noted. Right, we're going to open this up again. I uh, click the wrong thing. Uh, do I want to wallop you again or go for someone else? I think we're going to go for you. There go. It's a nice bit of damage there. You're going to take a, a wallop load. And as long as I hit once, you die this turn. Now, both of you are shielded, which I disapprove of. I might just completely shield this turn. There's no reason not to. There we go. And now it's just down to you. Now you do have a decent bit of shielding there, which I don't like, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. There we go. Alright, well we've learnt something, and that was an important something to learn. Oh, man, I really want the shiv. I really want the shiv. We really want the armor. There's so many things here I want. Sadly, none of them to take with us. Is there anything here of value to a merchant? No, not really. I guess I'll bring this along because I can use it. There we are. Realistically, the main thing there was getting some, uh, some uh, experience. Right. Well, now I know that this works. I could say goodbye to the cleaver, since I will constantly be able to charge this up, and the heart cleaver is is a tricky one to use. I think we are going to say goodbye to the cleaver there. Uh, what have you got? You got the splint. If you have any armor, this item is disabled. When an adjacent item is used, plus one hate treat. That's actually quite a beautiful one. Really, really wants us to take a spare head for crate. Hmm. Uh, could get the conduit. Adjacent to diagonal structures become conductive. Uh, for each adjacent structure. I mean, no, that doesn't really serve us, uh, serve any purpose right now. Can be used one time each turn. Conductive, on use adjacent weapons, get plus one damages combat. Now, that wouldn't work here. 
what I would have to do is if I wanted to pick this up, and I do, I'd have to put it there. Since that would allow me to buff up the dagger more and more and more. And I'm going to be using the dagger probably every turn. Uh, it, honestly, if I could get burn on the dagger, that would have been glorious. But uh, alas, that isn't a thing that we're going to see. But yeah, this can't see the adjacent weapon there. Uh, that being said, I could just go ahead and wait. And maybe I should. Uh, we will shimmy that up. There's no point in selling Well, I mean, it's worth three, but there's no point in selling it. I'm just going to use it. It'll just be a little bit of extra damage for me. Right, let's use that up there. And get some poison on the go. Hit you twice. Let's go ahead and get a drink in us. There we are. And this is just going to give me 10 HP, which is a bit of a shame, because it's not exactly what I wanted. Alright, we're actually going to take some damage here. Well, it's a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, go ahead. And then next turn, we will we'll, uh, win the fight. But that wasn't ideal for us, I must confess. wasn't ideal. Right, to get items. We've got boots. Steel boots. This item is heavy. Weapons in this column get plus one damage. Wouldn't be able to see that, sadly. Uh, we've got the rose. We've got the spade cleaver. We've got a drink. We've got a shuriken. I would like to take the steel boots. However, this is going to involve a bit of shenanigans. Because that is heavy. So it can elevate this. Now, this is not a good setup by any measure. However, it still gives us the, the boost there. I can't use this for the next fight, but we'll just have to live without it. Uh, this one, uh, for each robot, plus two. So this is actually giving us quite a lot. I could shimmy around a couple of things like this. Maybe I'd be able to get another weapon within range of this this way at some point. But for now, that's actually not too bad. I could always sell these as well because they are rare. Wow, we've got uh, a, quite a, a large area with no fighting going on. Uh, I smell treasure nearby. Hmm. Uh, I don't really need it. Thank you, though. Oh, possum. Uh, I will pray over you in a moment. I'm probably going to have to get rid of some bits and bobs. I didn't actually need that, did I? Uh, let's see what we've got over here. Three damage to a weapon. Three slow to, a, uh, to an enemy to a weapon. Conductive to armor. One regen to a ring. See? See? Regen to a ring. So good. If we had a ring with two slots, I could put two of those in. Strongly, strongly considering going and grabbing that uh, that ring. Um, but three slots to an enemy is not too bad. I could even put it here. No, I couldn't. Uh, well, I'm going to be doing this every turn, and it would reduce the ability for them to block. So, but I might want to hold out for something a little bit more punchy, something burny. Perhaps. Okay, I want to grab the regen ring then. Uh, given that, I am going to sell the boots. The boots are lovely. They're really nice, actually. Um, however, I can make a lot more cash with this. There we are. Let's just shimmy those around. Get the ring. The ring is now in correct position. I can get regen. That means every turn I use this, I'm not losing anything from it. But ultimately, I would rather get another ring with regen on it. Honestly, if you had two, I would absolutely accept. Uh, but sadly you don't. There is a possibility there'll be a ring down here, and if so, I'm going to get rid of the wand. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got a broken ring, yeah. Uh, on, on use, that's four blocks, so yeah, goodbye to you. We'll take both of these. That's actually wonderful. It's basically a shield ring. Uh, I agree greatly. Uh, with that... This will just, uh, I mean, it uses mana in order to, to power it, but we'll eventually get more mana as we play, so that's not a bad, bad move there. I, I find it quite amusing that I was specifically talking about rings and, re oh, really? That one doesn't hurt. I bought it and it doesn't have it. Oh, that hurts me. I should have paid attention. Should have paid attention. Oh, well, we at least got one that works. Uh, pray for him. Kneel to pray for him. Your good deed strengthens you. There we go. We've got max uh, health. But that that hurts. That hurts a lot. Uh, I'm a dumb. And especially because I bought that as well. Oh, well. It is still a good ring to have. Since it uh, will allow me to scale my weapon quite aggressively. Right then. First and foremost, uh, I would like to block. 
I would like to power up my dagger. I would like to stab you with said dagger. And then I would like to get a drink of water. Give me one energy. Perfect. I would like to use my... I don't need to use my buckler. Nor do I need to use that. Uh, I'll hit you once, and then I'm going to explode on you. There we go. Ten damage incoming because of the rage. But we've actually got a nice couple of status effects now. Right, stay, same amount of damage coming our way. So first move. Let's get everything on the go. And then block. I could push forward. I do want to keep going until I get a frothy drink. There we go. There we go. And you are almost... You are on the verge of death there, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to do too much damage to me, so I do need to actually use up that mana to block. There we go. Now then, am I going to get a frothy drink? Really? Come on. I need a frothy drink. Let's try another one. No. Two things that aren't what I want. Well, actually, the warm drink. I, well, no, I don't even need the warm drink either. Well, that's deeply upsetting. All right, well, let's uh, make a little bit more room for ourselves. Now, what are we going to take? We've got the stopwatch. Can be used one time each combat. Adds one sleep to all enemies. The glass bottle. If you end your turn with zero block, adds one energy. And all shields get this effect applied. On use, weapons are used. All shields get this effect applied. On use, adjacent weapons are disabled this turn. That's not actually a bad choice. Since that means I would be able to use both of these. But I wouldn't want this one to be disabled, but this one can I can only use once a turn anyway. So, shimmying these up a little bit. Something like that. That actually works perfectly. Yeah, I'll take this. That way, this will automatically trigger the dagger. I'll get the block from the shield anyway. I'll apply the poison. I'll do the damage. And I just need to make sure I use the battle ring first. But other than that, pretty solid. Uh, these these are conductive, so this should be able to charge the mana stone. But let me just make sure anyway by putting it there. That seems like a wise choice. Right, can I just... Can I use it? Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. That is deeply frustrating. Uh, well, I guess I'll send that back to Haversack Hill. Uh, I'm, are there any shurikens? On, yeah, there is one more shuriken I need, so I'll send that back too. Uh, I, that isn't needed, but I guess I'll send a couple of these things back. Me as well. Hello, buddy. Right, you can have these from me. Uh, is that actually needed for anything? It really isn't, so I may as well keep it, since I'll be able to use the bomb on it without having to pay again. But that is that is so deeply irritating. <laughs> uh, I thought, with a couple of turns, I'm definitely going to get the froth, the frothy drink. But no, tea has been denied me once again. The game understands that it'll only make me more powerful. I had a vision that I would meet you. Mm, try to upgrade a mana stone. Got it, he says, and he says into the soiling magic any. Wait, oh no, I don't got it, he yells. He blinks. Your mana stone is gone. You check your backpack. Sorry, he says, in my vision it never existed at all. You scoundrel. Actually, I'm not that upset about it, to be honest. <laughs> we'll get plenty more mana stones. Uh, right, what we got over here? Uh, two blocks of armor, two blocks of shield, conductive to armor, one energy to clothing. Um, don't have any clothing that we'll work on. But two blocks of shield isn't a bad choice. I will probably come back to you to get that, if I'm honest. All right, who are we fighting against? We're fighting against uh, the studi uh, studied fencer. I believe he fences, doesn't he? Or is that the fox? That's probably the fox. All right, maybe both of them. Who knows? All right, either way, I can't use this, so no point in worrying about it. But I will wallop you with that so that I can then use this. And then I just need to apply a decent bit of damage. So, bump. I don't have energy to use that, unfortunately. Of course, that one was just healing. Okay, well, that's fine. You've got 30 points of damage. I just need to do 12 more to stop you from... Oh, I should have paid attention to that. 
Uh, oh well. Uh, there we go. That's stopped you in your tracks, but a little bit annoying. I should have used the buckler too. I'm making all sorts of bad mistakes right now, aren't I? Right, let's see what I get. Of course. You insult me, game. Why would you do this? Rude, I say. But I do need to block in order to not take any damage, so let's go ahead and do that. And I could... Yeah, I'll just hold on to this for this turn. Honestly, you're probably going to die by yourself at this point. Uh, I will block. I will get some burn going over here. In fact... Actually, let's go ahead and explode that. There we go. That's a little bit more useful. I don't see any point in, in spending cash. I could get a flame shuriken. But sadly, I don't have the passive block to be able to manage that. That being said... If this were to give me energy, which it did not, then I could have gone for it, but alas, no. Uh, right, use that. Wallop you with it. There we go. And then oh, we'll just finish you off with the uh, the dagger there. Right, what have we got? We've got another poison dagger. We've got a crossbow. We've got a knight shield. Uh, we've got a stacking star. Creates a shuriken in this space. Uh, deals three damage when used. I mean, if I could position it, Maybe if I just squish that across, pop that there, it's going to hit both of them that way. Alternatively, I could have two daggers, of course. Uh, that might not be a terrible idea. Um, I quite like the idea of this stacking star being used twice to create uh, quite a, a nasty bit of damage there. Ooh, a stacking star with coral. You'd have to end with... The, yeah, as long as you ended the first fight without using the stacking star, you could then clone the, the, the stacking star. Basically keep that as your printer source. The coral is your 3D printer. As long as it you never use up the source, it'll just keep every battle producing more stacking stars for you. That wouldn't be a bad, uh, bad way of playing, honestly. I quite like that idea, actually. All right, let's move that up there. Okay, uh, I think that's good enough. Uh, that being said, I could also have it over there, but I, I think this should be fine. I'm kind of amused, though, that uh, we didn't end up getting a uh, another sh um, mana stone, considering everything. Right, I'll just bring these along just because I can sell them. Uh, no other reason than that. Uh, I've got uh, an event there. We're not really worrying about it, I don't think. Uh, let's take you out if I can. Ooh, adds even more luck. I greatly approve of that. Wow. Um, we've still got a lot of points. I could get rid of you there. I like it. I like it. Now, I've got way too much damage coming in. So I'm going to need a drink that gives me energy. You do. Thank you. And I can use this twice if I want to be safe. I wonder. I'm gonna... Oh, that was amazing. All right. Uh, I mean, look, that was great. You can't say it wasn't. I didn't want that dagger anyway. Right, that'll that'll do nicely for this turn. What I need is some uh, spikes, I think. Okay, you're gonna do a fair bit of damage. So let's convince you. Oh. I keep forgetting about that. Okay. Now let's convince you not to do it. My lord. Uh, I only need to block once. So let's do that. And then we'll just use up the remaining damage. I, I'm constantly forgetting to check the dodge. Even though on characters that I know dodge. That's the worst part. Uh, we've got enough now to handle that. There you go. Uh, I don't see any point in using up money right now. I think we need to save up a little bit, frankly. A uh, little bit coming through, nothing too terrible. There we go. Right, what are we looking at here? Oh, wow, we got some really nice one. The Lizard Blade deals 16 damage, and we need it for the Lizard King Sword. Okay, this is a Keeper, then, uh, which actually does... Pain me a little bit. I don't want something I want to keep. Uh, on tick damage adds one block to self. Uh, another broken ring. 
Hmm. That one isn't the worst. Largely because it would give me the opportunity to upgrade it to have uh, a, another regen there. Could get rid of the battle ring in, in, in its place. Um. Hmm. This would be ideal, however. Let's shimmy some things around a bit. I'll leave that there. I mean, realistically, th this is only in my backpack because I want to use... Um, uh, because I want to have uh, the regen on it. Which one has regen? Not that one. Uh, can this be used multiple times? On Yeah, it just takes two, but I could use it for one. Oh yeah, I think that's glorious. Keep that there. Alright, it's a little bit cluttered. A little bit cluttered. We need a level. It's going to be a while before I get one. Still, I think this is great. Also, we've got a legendary mask. I'm going to go and sell that. We need the money. Always need... Ah, oh, man. Okay, not getting the money, apparently. Great sadness. Uh, I mean, I could always get rid of this. It doesn't really matter to me. I could just shed it. Frankly. I, I need to keep this. I, I kind of want this, but realistically, does it really matter to me? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, I'll probably drop the cleansing wand. Just so that I've got room for my, uh, my drinks. Alright, need to deal with you relatively quickly. So the first things first, use that. Then wallop you with this. That will hopefully have convinced you not to get up to any more shenanigans for a while. And let's see what drink we get, really. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel betrayed every single time I get the frothy drink now. You know it. Uh, I could hit you again, or I could focus on no, I I think I need to wait for next turn to use this on you. So I, for now I'll just hit you there. And uh, next turn, you'll be within a, a range, I believe, to have poison sickness. No, just slightly outside of that range, unfortunately. Uh, never mind. Two. Really? Ah, of course, yeah, because poison isn't triggering. But never mind, then I'll just take you out. Uh, got a, a bit of damage incoming, and you're going to block more. That wasn't the best use of the turn. I should have gone the other way around, but oh well. All right, first things first, get rid of that. Hit you pretty hard there, and finish the job. Yep. Now, what items are we going to get? We have got... Ooh. The Queen Cleaver. Have we got a shop? Yes, we have. Okay, so what I'm going to take here is the thing that's going to get me the most money. Which is the Queen Cleaver. On you, seal six damage, and all diagonal cleavers are used. This would have been great to have the, uh, the heart... Cleaver there, because if I could have put the cle Queen Cleaver there and I could have all kinds of other cleavers, oh man, that would have been so good. That would have been bonkers great. Alas. However, I actually do need to bring this with me if I actually want to use these in any way. I will get another Mana Stone. I say, with amazing confidence that I don't deserve. There we go, and we take this as well. And there we are, plenty of cash now. And we've got some other rings that I could take. We've got the Panic Ring. Must have less than 50% health. Each turn adds one energy. Or the Lightning Ring. Conductive, when mana flows through, deal one damage. I mean, that's not a bad choice. Um, of course, we have the Spade Cleaver there. Uh, we've got the Hat. I think I need to reorganize a bit. Let's do something. I still need that above me. No, that won't work. Ultimately, I just need to level up, really. Uh, but this ring is nice. When mana thro flows through, deal one damage. I would need to position it particularly well, though. I'd want the this ring there past the staff and then have a mana 
um, some uh, mana gem over here or a mana gem on the other side. A again, we need to level up to make it work, but that free damage, because I'm not going to use both of these in the same turn. So I think I will get rid of the Broken Ring and I will purchase this one in its place. And it was a bit of a, an expense, but I don't mind it too much. All right, let's go and see if I can't get a uh, level out of this. I kind of doubt it, but all the same, I'm hopeful. Right, got a bunch of damage there. Right, don't have to deal with your shenanigans. And this fight should, if we're lucky, be relatively straightforward. Need a little bit more protection. I'm not going to use a drink right now. I just spent an awful lot of money, so I'm trying to uh, be a little bit more frugal. Oh yeah, so close. <sighs> Damn it. All right, Crystal Gauntlets, adjacent melee weapons get plus three damage. You're giving me all of the great stuff right now. If I had that there, then it would kind of break this, unless... No, there's really no... Uh, well, no, there is a way. But there's no way of me having both of the... Oh, well, actually, I could put it over there, I suppose. Hmm. How much... Plus three damage is a heck of a lot. And this is already doing a huge amount of damage. I could get rid of the Apprentice Staff. And the Battle Ring. It wouldn't allow me to scale anymore, though, which is the problem. Um... If I was to insert that there, then both of these would get the buff, and they're getting full time. I mean, they're just straight up doing a lot of damage at that point. It would be uh, 23 and 15 damage that I would be able to trigger once a turn for free. Uh, but without mana, then all of this kind of is for naught. I, as much as I would love to, I think I'm going to have to say no. And it hurts me to say no to this one, but uh, here we are. That is the state of things. We'll say goodbye to all of that. Great sadness. Right, let's have a look again. I guess it's going to be the block for the shield. I mean, it would be nice to use that a little bit more. Um, sure, okay, we'll pop it in there twice. Uh, is there anything for our uh, weapons? No. Okay. Well, that's that then. We still need to level up before I can use the rings properly, and I'm going to have to level up in a very specific way. Alright, part two of three. Let's see what we can do. Shop straight away. Let's just have a look at what you've got uh, for sale. You've got an amazing weapon, the Flame Axe. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Um, and we could position it there. But this already does so much damage. However, if I brought the Flame Axe in, I could have it positioned here. Ah, oh, that would be so broken. So broken. Is there a version of events where I could have my cake and indeed eat it? I don't think so. I don't think there's a place where I could have the Pearl and the little Buckler all activate at the same time. Still. That is a that is a possibility. We have to believe in the dream. Okay, open up strong there. Wallop you. I am going to need some drinks for this one, I think. And let's just remove you from the fight. And sure, let's find out what other... Oh, nice, actually. You can use that again. And... Realistically, going for you wouldn't help. Oh, I'm going to save this for the next turn. Yeah, I'm going to just have to save it for the next turn. It would have been better if I'd uh, used it on the next turn, given that. Right, that removes you out of the, the fight. Take you out of the fight. Now I've got a lot of damage coming my way. Uh, though, actually, that being said, only, uh, only a little bit more than I, I've actually got. Uh, only four extra damage. So I'm going to let you go ahead and attack. Because I can just heal through that. On this turn. There we go. And then wallop you. And finish the fight. Okay, not too bad. Right, now, specifically, I've only got a couple of spaces to play with here. But... Uh, what, 
One, two, three. I had the staff here, the mana stone there, this ring there. This one doesn't need to be connected because I don't actually need it. Is there a way that I could have mana flow? Oh, actually, mana flowing in either direction. Mana stone here, ring there. Mana flows into the mana stone, mana flows out of the mana stone. It goes over it twice. That'd actually be quite nice. Very, very nice. Uh, given that then, let's uh, continue opening up some space for some more potions. I think that would probably be the best idea. Oh, really? I mean, I would, I would love to, but there's no point. So... Actually, each turn I could use one, fill it back up. So that's gone through once, gone back, and use it twice again. Hmm. That is... An interesting one, though, though that would only be the first turn. The battle ring and the heart ring. I take the ring anyway. That is an option. Uh, I could also bring this along, but it's going to be so long until the next level up that I don't really think it's that useful for me. That being said, if I move this entire setup down, these don't really care where they are. But that one doesn't trigger on you then. However, if I just shimmy them around like so, this still gets exactly the same effect. Yeah, and we've got both mana stones. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Uh, I would love to have some extra armor. I'm just going to take the health ring for now. Curse. Alright, let's go through the next fight. See what we can do. Okay. You're going... I need to... Ooh, I need to block. Always block. There we are. You're going to attack this turn, but I can actually weather it. It's not too much of a problem. I should have actually used this first. There we go. And now use that. Uh, it can only be used once a turn. That's fine. Uh, would this... Cause you no, it doesn't cause you to do anything. Well, I could just I could just keep using all of the mana that I've got stored up there if I really wanted to. Uh, might not be the worst idea. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It was only doing one damage though, uh, so it's it's hardly really the, the fact that I built this around it is kind of silly. But I, I just wanted to see if I could do it. Frankly, all right, let's get rid of you, and then. Just start applying some extra damage. Good for me. Now, that's quite a lot of damage coming my way, but that has changed your intent. I should have used that again first, rather than last. But that's fine. I'll just remember it next time. There we go. And, oh, I see what's happening. Because I was fairly certain if I just attacked, it wouldn't change intent, because intent was already on attack. But briefly, Intent changes to defend, and then changes back to attack, which does matter. Okay, and I'll demonstrate that again this turn. So, starting off, your intent is to attack. I'm going to do that once, and attack again. That doesn't do anything, but there we go. That actually works quite well. And we're stacking up the uh, burn and the poison. Doesn't really matter. You're not going to survive this turn. Uh, we've got a hand axe. We've got a whetstone. Nothing really here that's particularly good. Anything that I can sell, basically. Uh, we'll tr leave that behind, I think. We do have a shop that I can go to, but I've got a lot more enemies that I'm going to go through. Uh, that's good enough. Can I sell this to you? Will you accept it? Yes, you will. Perfect. Right. Well, we could afford the legendary flame axe, and that would stack a lot more burn on the opponent. Am I really getting that much bang for buck out of this? Not really, considering the amount of room that I'm taking up for it. I think it is time for me to uh, make a choice, and the choice will be to take this. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I, I, th I think the, the staff is cool, and we do have some scaling opportunities as a, as a consequence of it, but this is far more awesome. Especially given that that will trigger every single time. And you know what? We don't really need to say goodbye to all of that. If I get rid of the lightning band, again, it, it was kind of funny to see that happen. But it, it isn't necessary. It is funny, but it's doing one damage as the man is moving around. If you had a mage build where you were doing a lot of, of uh, influence with mana, that would be fine. But for our use, not really, not really worth it for us. Okay, I think that's everything we need. This is going to be very, very nasty for the next enemies we come up against. Hello. Uh, that would be you. So, uh, to start things off, does that one take one? It does. I could burn off some power first. Sure. Then use this once, then follow up with this. Yeah, I am going to take one little bit of damage. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to take any damage. That was a lie. But you've got uh, 12 damage coming your way, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, 17 damage is a little bit more than I would like to deal with. So I'm just going to remove that for now then switch my intent back. Should have used that again. I will remember eventually. Uh, right, this turn, I would like to get some energy. I would like to wallop you with this, take you out. There we go. And now it really is just a, a matter of uh, attrition, really, more than anything else. Let's use that. Charge it up. Use an extra point there. And then do all of the damage forever. This is glorious. Now, it is a little bit risky because there are times when you might uh, go for a much higher attack. But so far, we've not really seen that. And you're already up to 19 damage. So that's going to be our scaling at this point. Is the fact that I'm just constantly adding more burn. And that works quite nicely for me, I must say. There we go. It's almost cheating to use that first, but... Ah! It's what this game is about. This game is about finding broken broken synergies. Ah, uh, we've got a fish. Do I want to take... I kind of do. Uh, want fish over there to get spoiled... Well, do I, do I actually want to research spoiled milk? That is a question. Uh, but yeah, I kind of do. Uh, there's nothing here that I can I can bring with me. There's literally no room in my build, so we'll just move on. Let's have a look. What are you offering? Slow to energy three, two spikes of shield. Ah, oh, damn it! How I wish I had not put extra block on you. Three slow to a weapon. Uh, this one's got a lot of uh, potential, so yeah, I'll I'll upgrade that one. I would love something else for a weapon. I could add her in there. We could have six slow. Okay, so that's going to really destroy our opponent's ability to block. Even if they are traditionally a heavy blocker, that is not going to not going to work for them there. Right, use this first. Hit you once. We are then going to use this and then block. That is ridiculous amounts of damage. Perfect. Am I going to get a good drink? We are. We are going to get a good drink. Nice. And we will take you almost to death. There we go. Solid turn. Now, will you... Yeah, you... The thing is, is they... If they can do damage to you, they will drain health. So we needed... I hope that the uh, effects would kick in first in order to take them down. There we go. And all that's left is you. This is hardly going to be a fight, frankly. Now, what are you going to tempt me with? Uh, nothing particularly. Though I'll take this just so I don't have to buy something. Uh, what do we got? Uh, cards, hold off, you draw a doom. I'm just going to go for the gold over here because I'm struggling with any room for anything else anyway. There's a chest that is going to make me... Uh, on scratch, actually. Oh, well, no. Flaming Bangles is kind of cool, though. Can be used one time each turn. Hits all enemies, if only... I would have loved to have that in a position, like, for example, if that was there and across, and then this was just in this position, that would be 
beautiful. I could do away with the staff at this point. We'd be saying goodbye to Two Burn and Ghostly. But the ability to hit all enemies. We're, it's not the best weapon for use here, though, because I'm not really getting anything for free. And it still uses up its one use in a turn. So there, there are better weapons to go for with that. Uh, Alright, moving on down to the next area, then. I don't think there's anything else we want to do here. We are really, really hurting for space. Right, let's find out. Are we going to the Magma Core? Or does it, this end here? Hello, Blade Master. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill him. I do hate to die. I actually watched that recently. I watched Princess Bride recently. Uh, it's a good, good film. I enjoyed showing it to someone for the first time. It's a rare privilege. Alright, there we go. I will also gobble this down and then just wallop that just for the sake of it. Okay. I don't think that the Blade Master actually protects. Oh no, it does. It would try to, but it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, right, well, we'll do exactly the same thing every turn. There's no reason for us to change it up. Uh, maybe, maybe I should have. <laughs> uh, that was perhaps a little bit of hubris sneaking in there. Hubris for which I am now going to pay the price. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do even more damage to you. I don't need the money. Uh, actually, I'll hold on to that because I'm going to take a fair bit of damage here. So. Okay, and then I can use it straight away. There we go. And wallop you for all that damage. There we go. Oh, now, the problem is, if this is the way out... Oh, it is! Damn it, I really hope we were going to go to the Magma Core. It only occurred to me just then that I should have kept the frothy drink, because I would have been able to use the frothy drink to, uh, to research the... Oh! See, this is my punishment for just not knocking him out. I, I, I went ahead and killed him. I should have just knocked him out. That would have been the dapper thing to do, and the dapper thing to do would have rewarded me with tea. Instead, I am tealess, and I must walk back to Havasak Hill. The walk of shame, contemplating the undapperosity of my previous actions. We can but hope that one day I will, uh, I will redeem myself in the eyes of the universe and be granted the joy of tea. Uh, we don't really want... Well, actually, I can, you can have that. Right, let's go and see. Can we have crate? <gasps> Great! We have been rewarded now. Okay, the universe has already forgiven us a little bit. It's not tea, okay? As great as crate is, crate isn't tea. Bleep bloop. I am crate. Cybernetic rodent eight. Please explain mission parameters. Collector, help me on my quest. Uh, I mean, the, the loot goblin in me wants to click on this one, but help me on my quest. Help me restore this town. We're exploring the dungeon in our quest. Bleep bloop. When you can't find a hero, you gotta make one. Crate is a mishmash of metal and nerd stuff that will t nerd stuff. take care of any enemy automatically, provided his circuitry is properly organized. Parameters confirmed. Please complete initialization protocol. I will excel at all tasks. Wiring walkthrough. The run ends after area one. Okay, so in the next episode, we will be doing a tutorial and then a proper run. After my routines are properly aligned. Bleep bloop. Can we say anything else? Bleep bloop. Biological organisms are doing the questing. What is my purpose? Bleep bloop. Okay, well, fine enough. Uh, hi, Doug. My blueprints are complete. Stop by the carpenters. I, I shall do. Uh, how can I help you, dearie? Just saying hello. Oh, oh that was interesting. It was just automatic this time. All right. Uh, we can go for the bank. I mean, why not? Let's pop a bank over there. And, oh, actually, that was the wrong place. Or maybe it wasn't the wrong place. Maybe I should do something like that. There we are. That, that now looks like it is uh, linked. Here we are. Sal Atom's here. Gain resources to expand Havasak Hill. Uh, it's, hmm. I can only hope that this opens up in some way. For each commercial decoration, plus five efficiency. I mean, it's no different from the shop. Is there really any any benefit to this? I wonder. Oh. 
Uh, okay, we've got... Ah, got new uh, crate-related missions. We still haven't found that plush. I'm sorry, mate, Quill Swish. Might be down in the magma core, though. Right, uh, you taught me. But it is what it is. Um, oh, I could have gone for the poultice. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, let's see other things. We do have the little buckler. I Yeah, we're absolutely going to go for the uh, swamp buckler for now. Uh, I would like the amethyst buckler, but it I, I think the swamp buckler is going to be the more interesting one. There we go. And we can use one of those. Damn. A rare weapon, sure. And we've got to get the smoke dagger before we can get the vorpal blade. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. We actually unlocked quite a few things there. Uh, anything else? We've got a wand, sure. Uh, I'm going to hold off on that one just until I've seen my other options. Let's see. We've got... Oh, yeah, the staff. We'll use the staff here because we can unlock the wizard staff. Deals three damage. That's two mana to the connected mana network. Definitely a worthwhile purchase. A gem. We do, in fact, have a gem. And, oh, that's expensive. But that will get me bumpy ride. You start with the... Ooh. Okay. I have used those items in a quick play before, and it has led to shenanigans and mostly led to me deleting my items accidentally. I am very cautious. <laughs> cautious about accepting that one. All right, we've uh, gone through everything, so I'm now going to just sell everything. And uh, for the time being, I'm just going to sell over here. Uh, let's have a look. So that would get me 38, 35, 38. Let's have a look what the bank would offer me. Would the bank offer me something better? Oh, oh no, specifically these rarer resources. All right, that's not too bad. Sure, okay, I'll take that. Sorry, I, I clearly misunderstood how that was going to work. Oh no, they were... <laughs> Damn, this <laughs> game is a bit finicky sometimes, but yeah, well. Right, let's go ahead and just uh, sell off some, uh, or rather, trade in some food and such. Uh, let's work up from the bottom this time, though. Uh, we don't have enough treasure to really unlock much. But, for things like, uh, things that just require building parts and food, we should be okay. And yes, I'm unlocking decorations first. And because this is me you're talking to. I mean, of course I was going to unlock decorations first. Uh, let's see. There was at least... Well, on the bulletin board, I felt that there was at least one... Yeah, there we go. Easy mode. Oh, okay, well... Uh, we're probably not going to activate that. In fact, definitely not going to activate that. Simply because... Crate is by far the character I've played the most. And as such, the one that I need the least amount of help to succeed with. I say with great hubris. The punishment is going to be swift and brutal, I, I promise you. Chaotocles has listened. So is Saint Algorithmus. I'm not going to get away for saying something like that. Uh, we could uh, just invest, I guess, a little bit up here. That would unlock the wild buckler. And is there anything else I want? I can invest in? Uh, sure, we'll pop it into that. Wouldn't mind getting the plate armor eventually. That would actually be quite cool. As eight block, uh, as eight block, but one slow to self that. Oh, each. Oh, that's actually a little bit rough. <laughs> wow, it just slowly gets worse and worse over time. Still, it might be an interesting one. Might might build into something else. But at long last, we've managed to completely skip something. At long last, we're going to be going out with crate. But I'm going to have to wait to uh, activate the mission until the next episode because uh, that would start a tutorial mission we don't really have time for that in today's episode but i do hope you've enjoyed it and we are looking forward to a crate run in the very next but until then and as always from me from purse from everyone at haversack hill now including crate to take care everyone